On this day, we had a nice, easy walk along a canal. We're walking along this little canal. Now, there's nothing on it, but there was a dock back there. Called a Bargo, D. St. James Way. So I guess you could do the uh, St. James, some of it anyway, by boat. This could be a good idea. Needs to be a lot longer though. Well, this is the lock right before our next town, Promista. Uh, it doesn't look like locks in use anymore. It's to me like a, it's just a old artifact now. Hold on. This looks like it could be an old log book that people could fill out. Of course, it's just a stone uh, image of it now, but. I guess when people use the locks, that's what they did. All right, let's go. It's 12 o'clock and we've made it into town. We've done about nine and a half miles. Just went into the supermarket. <laughs> Stuff. Got a feast. <laughs> We're gonna go find a little spot and eat a sandwich and drink some wine and enjoy the rest of the day. Then again, it was the usual shower, laundry eat, and go to bed. We're getting pretty good at this. Good morning from day 25 on the Camino de Santiago. It's really kind of hard to believe that we've been walking for 25 days. Um, we have 18.8 uh, kilometers today, which is pretty close to 12 miles. So we, we had our cafe con leche and a croissant to get us started. Um, there are some towns between where we're going, so we'll be able to get some lunch, maybe an orange juice later on. I haven't had an orange juice in a couple days and kind of miss it, but nice chilly start this morning again. So uh, let's get to work. Yeah. Queen Camino. Queen Camino. The previous night was another communal dinner, but this time, there really wasn't enough food. This rarely happened during the entire journey, but it happened this evening. I decided to use this case as a test. Most of the days, we ate too much, I think, but still seemed always to wake up hungry. By this point, it was getting routine. We would wake, get ready, pack, and hopefully get coffee at least, and if available, eat a light breakfast like toast and jam. Then, after a few kilometers, eat a second breakfast, eggs, or an omelet. Well, this morning was the same. We woke up hungry and followed the same routine. So my theory is, we are eating too much at dinner and just wasting that food because we don't do anything most evenings after dinner. We've made it to our second town this morning, and uh, there's a big truck coming. Yeah. Is that Spanish we writing? stopped to take a little break <laughs> and found this little rock laying on the table. Don't know what it says. I'll have to translate it. Hola. Hola. 
<laughs> Hola! <laughs> yes! <laughs> And again, the Camino provides. <laughs> we were walking down and I said to James, I hope for lunch we find some place that has pizza. I'm tired of sandwiches. And we walk into town <laughs> and there's pizza. And a bottle opener. And a bottle opener. We got some wine and some watermelon. Yay! Bon appetit! Mm -hmm. Back to the trail. The next morning took us through Villa Casar de Sirga after a nice easy walk. This town boasted a fortress-like church from the 12th and 13th centuries that was built with the help of the Knights nice Templar, the Santa Maria La Blanca. Beautiful. There were many Templar symbols inside and out. I can only imagine how safe the pilgrims of the past felt in these structures when they were used as safe places for them while on pilgrimage, especially after a long walk with really nothing in between. All right, we have six kilometers left till we get to the town, maybe four miles, a little under four. But look, we are hoping that we beat this. That just looks a little nasty out there. Yeah, we got caught. <laughs> it's cold and it's raining. It was actually like sleeting a few minutes ago or yeah. like little bitty um, hail, like little bitty pea sized hail. Yeah, so this is a, this is a challenge. Yay, couple more miles to go. Let's get there! <laughs> There's our town. Carry on de las condas. It's been a pretty rough walk. Oh man. It's freezing cold right now. We got rained and hailed on. Not really sure how much further we have to go. It looks like a fairly decent sized town. But hopefully they've got the heat going wherever we're heading. Because we're pretty cold. So. All right, let's do this. All right, I have to show you this. This is our room. There's our bed. We have a nice seating area. Hola. Look, a kitchen. Yeah. The heat is on. Thank goodness. A shower and a bathtub. All for 36 euro. I know. Awesome. Now, let me get out of these wet clothes. We've made it. We're nice and warm now. We've had a nap, um, a hot shower. I had a bath. Um, so I actually feel pretty good. Now we're gonna go out and find some coffee. I, I think I need another coffee. <laughs> Look, there's James. There was another stunning church here, and this one was open. Santa Maria del Camino. Are you noticing the names? Had a nice pilgrim's meal, then hit the trail. Because, you know, this trail ain't gonna hike itself. Good morning from day 26 on the Camino de Santiago. We just had a nice breakfast. Um, 
had some cafe con leche and orange juice and toast. We have a long walk in between towns. Once we leave this town, we don't have any more services for 17 kilometers. So, that's, yeah, we got some snacks and food. Yeah, the sky's clear, so a little bit of puffy clouds, but hopefully no rain today. So, let's go. This has been our view for a while. It is flat. The only thing exciting to look at is James. <laughs> he said, maybe that's why I keep yawning. <laughs> I didn't sleep too good last night. So I am yawning an awful lot, <laughs> even though I had coffee. This is a nice little surprise. Have a nice little cafe set up. Might have to get a coffee. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty nice over there. Let's go check it out. staying today. Yeah. This is awesome. <sighs> we have company. Sitting here. James is eating an olive. <laughs> we have beer and wine and we have a little friend. Just jumped right up here and sat with us. <laughs> battery died yesterday on the way into town so I didn't get to do this shot but here it is this morning a lot less crowded everybody getting ready to get back on the trail there's Tammy sitting there we stayed right there where that arrow is and it was pretty nice wasn't too bad that's always more difficult when it's, when we're in a crowded room all right, we're ready to start the day. It's Sunday morning. Looks beautiful. Looks like another beautiful day. Hola, buenos dias from the Camino on day 27. Wow. <laughs> it's just kind of um, moving along. Uh, today we are headed to the official halfway point. So, yay! <laughs> And, uh, and we've walked the majority of it. Only once did we have to take that taxi. So, but uh, anyway, it's nice and chilly this morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Uh, Quiet Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's just go for a little walk. Sunday, May 14th, 21 kilometers our longest yet, past the halfway point, which was demarked by a church, which was closed, and a monument. 
met April and Oren from Oregon, a young mother walking with her four-year-old son. Very impressive. We also saw this family from Mexico walking with two small boys, maybe eight to ten years old. Also chatted with a lady that said she was walking the Camino because she believed in its healing powers and the last time she walked it, it cured her concussion. Interesting. We also had a nice lunch with Luis, who we were starting to see more often. Okay. We're in our next little town. It's uh, Sunday, May 14th, I think. I know it's Sunday. That's Tammy. It's been a long, long day today. Yeah. It'll be... Uh, right at seven hours. Yeah, 21 kilometers or so, and we're almost done. Got about 1.5 kilometers left. And then we're done. So, all right, let's keep going. This night, we stayed in Shahagan, an old monastery. We had picked this spot because Jane and Anthony had just stayed here and recommended we stay. The reason was because this was one of the few places that had a true communal dinner that was organized by the monks. Well, it was Sunday, and they don't do it on Sundays due to the local supermarket being closed. Well, crap. We settled for a nice quiet dinner with a young lady from Cornwall, England, whom we had invited, invited to sit with us rather than sit alone. She was doing this part on an e-bike, which I think is getting more common. If it helps them finish, so be it. She is. She's on her way to Lyon. Yay! The night of the 16th brought us into the town of Relegios and the famous Elvis Bar. We are in Bar Elvis. And I cannot remember the name of the town that we're in. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, the stories that could be told in this bar, or about it. Unfortunately, we had to tap out early due to our albergue curfew. But not before having a drink or two with Louise and Savinia from Germany. She was another pilgrim we were crossing paths with lately. She was fun, with a loud, powerful laugh, and a great sense of humor to go with it. Good morning from day 29 on the Camino de Santiago. We slept in this morning. <laughs> it's 7.30, and we thought we would get an um, earlier start because we have a longer day today. Uh, and we also have no coffee until possibly the next village, if we're lucky. Um, and that's five miles away. So, yay! Um, put on a smile and start walking. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to Lyon today. We are about two thirds of the way done. Um, I'm amazed, I can't believe it. I can't believe we've been walking 29 days. Um, every day for 29 days, so. Um, we had a blast last night in this little town went into Bar Elvis, and there was a bunch of other Camino um, or pilgrims in there. So I had a glass of wine, and but unfortunately we had to go to bed early because everybody had to get up and walk today. So, yeah, and our albergue closed at 9.30. So that, that was the main reason that we went in early. So, all right, let's get going. Queen Camino. 17th got us into Lyon. We cheated a little by taking a bus for the last seven or eight kilometers. I don't think we missed much. Ah, Lyon. Another beautiful historic city. But I will have to save that 
for the next video. We are not gonna go in until tomorrow. It's about to close and but we wanted to get up here and walk around tonight. Check it out. Yeah.